Teaching kids about nature can be a challenge inside a classroom, but some creative programs are taking kids outside, sometimes to streams like this, lets them get their hands dirty. Marsha Walton takes us to Northern California where the lesson is all about saving an endangered native trout. These second graders are on a mission so important, they're stopping traffic. Okay, slowly, easy does it. Easy, you got lots of babies on board there, huh? Oh. Who's ready to let their fry go? How many fins do you think? Okay, find a good one. One billion. <laughs> it was actually really fun. I got to learn um, about how how they what the science name was for a whole bunch of like their eggs. It was like an inch big, and it was just swimming around, and it just feels good to learn. It's just great to see the kids take that responsibility and that ownership up over another living organism and to really be proud of what they've done. Is our pH where we need it to for a Lahant and Cutthroat Trout? Yes. Are, are our fry going to be happy? Yes. Okay. Hold on. Kids learn about the habitat these endangered Lahant and Cutthroat Trout need to survive. They're checking water temperature and pH part of a project called Trout in the Classroom that gives them hands-on experience with this once abundant native trout. When we bring the eggs, which honestly feels like a native species Santa Claus, <laughs> the kids are all excited and, and then the teachers embrace it. Missy Moeller is executive director of SWEP, the Sierra Watershed Education Partnerships. She works with U.S. Fish and Wildlife, Trout Unlimited, and the Captain Planet Foundation to help teachers with this project. So many times the little ones are like, I want to save the world, how can I start today? You know, they believe that they can, which is a wonderful thing. And Trout in the Classroom helps support that. Lahant and cutthroat trout are a very fascinating species. The largest species of trout that we have in the United States. And records of it were up to 50, 60 pounds. Following European settlement out here had a number of pressures on them, which eventually led to their extinction in a lot of locales. So in Lake Tahoe, for example, you had the introduction of non-native trout. You had um, commercial overfishing. Here come the hatchlings. Did we have some of these in our classroom? Yeah. I'll give you guys each a little fingerling to release. Okay, do you guys have a wish for your fish? I yeah, have cool. Come right over here. I wish that mine would have a safe journey. Yours would have a safe journey? I wish that. Right down by the stream. Zero. Zero. Because the kids are connected to the fish and because they have that experience of, of releasing the fish, it really becomes their connection to the watershed and their connection to caring for the watershed. Who can tell me what the eggs look like when they arrive? Luna. They were red and then red. A little black dot. What was the little black dot? Their eyes. <gasps> Look at their eyes, they're huge. In this class at Tahoe Lake Elementary, the fish even got their own theme song. Does anyone know why we picked Lahat and Cutthroat Trout as to any other trout? Cody. Because they're um, the native trout to this area. Very nice. Yes, they are. It was really interesting because um, we got to look at them from just little tiny eggs and watch them hatch. And then we got to look at them now and see how big they grew. Oh, there he is. He's right there. There he is. There's mine. I want to be a marine biologist. So do I. Me too. Okay, there he went. I 
love our program, getting the kids to actually get, you know, their hands dirty and to get out into the field is is wonderful. It's so much more powerful than actually just sitting and watching a video or playing, you know, reading a book. All right, you guys ready? Yeah! All right. Students from Truckee High School got a little scientist to mentor and a little fish to release. It's fun to see how much they know and then teaching them different stuff. We learn about like the whole ecosystem and the rivers of Truckee. We have 80 to 90 fish that have hatched, that have survived from our original 100 eggs. What, what I saw during the past few weeks is that the fish went from little tiny eggs to alibin. So now that we're here today, we're going to let them go. Oh, they're probably like, I wonder what the big fish are going to think of us. Yeah. And I just hope they get to grow up and have a good happy. life. Yeah. And there's news just recently that the Lahontan cutthroat trout is making a comeback. Really? Yes, at Pyramid Lake where they traditionally have been, they're catching them now at 25 pounds. There he goes, Ooh, he went fast. He went really fast. So we'll bring this out in the middle, we'll look at them. Everybody will get something to release and then we'll just see how many we have. I'm able to expose kids to so many different kinds of sciences. I see um, a lot of students going into science. I see a lot of girls going into science. And America, we need that. We need more kids going into science.